Hello and welcome to IoT University. My name is Shruti and today I'm going to show you how to set up Mnify Cloud Connect with five easy steps. But before that, let's figure out what is Cloud Connect and why do we even need it. Mnify's Cloud Connect lets you send your data into your application server through a private and secure network. So you can send this data into your server with using just a private IP. Mnify's network infrastructure lies into AWS. So taking advantage of the AWS managed service called Transit Gateway, we create a secure tunnel from your device through our network infrastructure into your application servers. So let's begin setting up Cloud Connect without using public internet. Now, Mnify has its network infrastructure in three different continents. To establish a secure network, your application can be in any of the 20 uh, AWS regions. Cloud Connect will peer your data through the nearest Mnify infrastructure. To use the Mnify Transit Gateway, you need to make sure that your devices have a service policy with one of our three VPN breakout regions. So let's begin with step one, prepping the device. To change your device policies, open the Mnify portal at portal.mnify.com and go to device policies. Now create a new service policy and give it an appropriate name. Now after you've named the service, configure all the other details. Uh, do you want it to send data? Do you want it to send SMS, etc.? But mainly make sure the breakout region is the region nearest to you and also the one that says VPN. Then remember the name of this service and go back and assign this policy to your device. So find your device in the portal and edit the service policy and now assign the policy that you created. Step number two, configure Cloud Connect. So to configure Cloud Connect, go to integrations and then scroll down to secure connection. Select AWS Transit Gateway and give it an appropriate name. Now, once you've done that, you need to fill in your AWS account ID and the region where your VPC is. So let's quickly get the region and uh, your account ID and let's put that in into the configurator. So my region was EU Central 1. Now comes the interesting part. You need to enter the CIDR block of your subnet that you want to create this gateway to. So go to your AWS console and find the CIDR block of your subnet and enter it back into the configuration. So there you go. Now, once you click on create, you are done. You'll see a pop-up with the cost, but uh, it's free during evaluation. You'll also see the next steps you need to take to complete this configuration. So let's move on to step number three, attaching the transit gateway. So once we have created the transit gateway attachment from the Mnify portal, go to the resource access manager of your AWS console and check the shared with me section. So you should see a notification waiting for you there. Go ahead and click it and make sure you accept the Mnify cloud native connectivity transit gateway attachment. Now, after accepting it, you'll see it in under shared resources, okay? So go back to your VPC dashboard and scroll down to Transit Gateway Attachments. Click on Create Transit Gateway Attachments and then select the Transit Gateway resource that you just accepted from us and give it a recent a name tag and finally, select the VPC and the subnet that the transit gateway will be connected to or attached to. Now, you'll need to wait a couple of minutes until the whole thing is successfully created. Meanwhile, you can check the status of it in your AWS console or on the Mnify portal. Once the status turns into connected, we can go to the final steps of creating this private connection. So now let's go to step number four, configuring the routing table and security groups. Now on your VPC console, go to route tables and select the route table associated with your VPC. We need to add a route for your Mnify SIM cards to be able to communicate through this private connection. So first I'm gonna check the IP address of my Mnify SIM cards. If you go to the Mnify portal and find your device there, 
you'll see the IP of your device. And you'll also see that most of your devices are within the IP block of 10.192.0.0 slash 12. So let's add this IP block into the routing table. And let's make the target to the transit gateway that we just attached. That is done. And now save the changes and let's go to the security group of your subnet to change the inbound rule. So go to the security group and select the one for your subnet and then within the inbound rules, add an inbound rule to allow traffic from the IP block of your MNIFI SIM cards and give it an appropriate name. And you're almost there, you're done. Well, we need to test this, so let's test this connection now. So let's go to step five, checking and testing with a private IP. So log into your device. In this case, I have a Raspberry Pi and let's try to ping the EC2 instance on my subnet. So for that, I need the IP of my EC2 instance. Let's go there, let's check the EC2. Now, if you see, my EC2 instance does not have a public IP, and that's exactly what I need. I need the private IP of my EC2 instance. Now, let's ping that private IP. I'm gonna send it two pings, and uh, there you go. It should connect, it should send the pings. And so what you see is we've been successfully able to ping the private IP of my EC2 instance through the secure network. So that was five easy steps to create and set up MNIFI Cloud Connect with your AWS infrastructure.